breathing. As teachers, our ultimate goal is to have the child swim a perfect six-beat kick freestyle. I like to teach the child single-sided breathing, but be comfortable on either side. Start with breathing in shallow water. Sit down beside the child and have them put one ear in the water and look at you. Have them look to the bottom of the pool, blow bubbles, face fully submerged, before turning to look back to you. Now, have them stop, look at you, just to make sure they have the correct breathing position. This also gives them the opportunity to get a full breath before bubbling again. Repeat this action. Breathe, bubble. Wait, breathe, bubble. When you are satisfied and you have practiced this skill on both sides, introduce the kickboard. If you have shallow water, start there and have the child breathe on both sides. It's much easier to do this in shallow water or a beach entry pool. If you don't have this luxury, you can get the child to hook their toes over a line rope so that their body is fully extended in the swimming position. This position is a little more difficult, but children soon learn. When you do this, have the children breathe to both sides, becoming mobile. Before kicking and breathing with a board, you may use the shallow water to crocodile and breathe. When you do this activity, make sure the child goes slow and reaches their hand right out in front before turning the head slowly to get a full breath. Notice how when we teach, we continually build skills. Do this, and soon the child will be ready to kick and breathe with a kickboard. Kicking and breathing with a board. Have the child kick short distances at a fairly fast pace. Give them the opportunity to breathe on both sides. Don't hurry. Repeat this action over and over. If you have been patient, taught slowly, continually correcting mistakes, the child will soon master this kicking and breathing skill drill on both sides. Remember, go slow, strive for perfection, continually correct mistakes, praise generously and establish an expectation of excellence. When you are satisfied that the student is breathing well, it's time to start one arm drill with a kickboard and have the child get used to breathing with one hand on the leg. As always, start with the stationary position so that the child understands exactly what you want. With one arm anchored on the leg, the breathing should be easier for the child and they will be able to feel the position of the arm when it's time to breathe. Manipulate the head if necessary, but do this softly without force, because most children don't like teachers holding their head. Allow, as always, the child to practice this new kicking and breathing drill again and again. As the child gets stronger, you will determine when it's time to do this breathing drill with no board. This breathing drill without the board is quite difficult and the child should have a very strong kick before you introduce this skill. Be patient because once the child masters this skill, we are ready to teach breathing timing. This is an exciting time for the pupil and teacher because once breathing timing is mastered, all the repetitive drill practice we've been practicing will result in correct freestyle technique. The child will have a great skill that will be with them for life. It's worth a little patience because this will result in a great freestyle technique.